I went to the University of Sheffield um, and I studied structural engineering and architecture together, um, which is why I specifically chose that course, because I couldn't decide between the two and I knew that I wanted to do something with buildings, but I couldn't decide what. Um, so now I work for Arup uh, and I, I work in Arup Associates, which is a multidisciplinary architecture and engineering practice. So now I get to do both. So I'm really glad that I stuck with it and I kept doing both all the way through. So when I first started, I was doing things like designing beams and columns and a lot of it was kind of like the stuff I did at university. But I've only been there for two years and I'm already doing things like managing the whole model for a project. My current project is a 35 storey tower in the centre of London. And the fact that I'm working really closely with the architects and the mechanical um, and the electrical public health engineers, the services, means that we can just work really fast. So I've actually already had three projects that have been completed since I started because we just do this quick fire design process where we're constantly collaborating and it's really exciting. Best thing about being an engineer is definitely seeing my finished projects built in real life. It's really exciting to be able to look around the skyline of London and see things like, for example, the Leadenhall building that we're standing in right now. That was my first ever project as a structural engineer. And I put so much hard work into designing the structure that we're seeing around us right now. And it's really satisfying to be able to point it out whenever people visit London. Um, so what I actually did on the project was, um, it's called active alignment. Because the building is triangle cheese grater shape, hence its name, um, it actually leans over as you're building it. The weight of the structure is heavier on one side than the other as it's building up in triangle. So what you've got to do is you've got to calculate really carefully exactly how much it weighs at each stage of construction so that we can look at that along with other factors about how much it's trying to lean over in any given direction. What we then did was actually in between the joints of the mega frame which we see around us there were actually small pieces of, um, of metal and what we could do is you could actually pull those out and then tighten up the structure to pull it all back together again at certain points and we had to calculate exactly how much to do that. While I was at the University of Sheffield, I did so much more than just studying engineering and architecture. Uh, this great students' union allowed me to be part of so many different societies, like the Architeers Society, which joined architects and engineers, the Canoe Club, and all these things gave me chances to do things like managing money, organising projects, and all these skills. I find that I'm using them all the time in my job today.